Yes lads, what is going on? Welcome back to another so rare video. Today, we're going to be looking at the strategies that I'm going to be using for the champions or champion region within the new so rare. Now, champions is the competition that actually hasn't changed at all. To be fair, it's the only one out of the three where the teams are still the same, the leagues are still the same. Um, but we do have a few new things going on now with the Premier League in-season and classic modes, which aren't in champions necessarily, but those cards do fall into being champions cards, right? So I'm going to chat through what I've got going on at super rare level and at rare level and how I'm going to be tackling these next 10 or so weeks until the European season finishes. Am I going to be playing in season, classic, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So leave a like if you enjoy the video, lads. And let's just get straight into things, right? Super Riz at champion level is definitely not something I'm considering playing, lads. As you can see, I only have nine Super Riz. I have a few under 23 players here that, of course, can play in under 23. So that's what I'll be doing with these cards. And, of course, using them in the cap modes as well. Because we do have cap 240, 270, and 220 up until August. So definitely don't sleep on those modes. Because I know it's not easy to win that cash right now. I'm finding it pretty tough to hit that middle threshold a lot of the time. But it's still there. And I think, you know, if you're not going to use, if I'm not going to use these cards in champion, I definitely need to be using them elsewhere if possible. And so, yeah, they're cards that I don't really want to sell. I definitely don't want to sell Nico and Brennan being, you know, Welsh. I just brought in this Genetis fella who is playing for the Lithuanian national team. And so, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do with him. Again, he's under 23. He has a low cap. So, again, he's not going to be using champ. I'm not playing champ. The link has been really good for me. Um, but again, he's a champ player. I'll probably play him in under 23. Yorbe, again, probably just a cap player for now. Badiashil's injured. Don't really know what I'm going to do with him, to be honest. And then we've got Simeone, who I won as a reward. Obviously not under 23, but I am hoping he does get some sort of move this summer. Where, where that is, I don't know, of course, but I'm hopeful that something happens there. And Luigi Seppe, another reward that I won. I think it's a tier 4 or 5, maybe. I'm hoping Salerno and Tana go down and he's on loan right now to Lazio, so hopefully he goes back there, because I've seen Ochoa is going to move to the MLS, so maybe Sepe uh, fills in there, I don't really know too much about that situation, if you do, do let me know in the comments, lads, and then Tangai Nianzu, or Tangai Kwasi, um, as he's also known as, I don't really know what's going on with him, so the Super is for me at champion level is a no-go, I think it's going to be unbelievably competitive, as is every competition, the new changes shouldn't make it easier, or not shouldn't make it easier to win, but you know, everywhere is going to be competitive. And I think champion is going to be ridiculously competitive at super rare level. And, you know, I don't have a base to really go off here. Um, the majority of these players are under 23. And that's where I'll be getting my utility from them. So we're definitely going to move swiftly on to Riz. Where, to be fair, I do have a little bit more depth. And I did have a bit of a plan. But <laughs> over the last few days, we found out that Sam Johnstone has injured his elbow on international duty for England. So he's out for the Euros, he's out for the remainder of this season, and having two of them really hurts, if I'm being honest, because it really screws up my Premier League plans. And so obviously this is a, you know, a champion video, but Premier League cards fit into that, and I was having, you know, a decent amount of success playing the Premier League in season comp. I bought quite a few players um to go with that, which we'll get into. But, you know, outside of him, we've got Alvaro Velez who is the Las Palmas keeper in season. We've got Bart Verbruggen who, of course, rotates with Jason Steele at Brighton. And then we've got Miguel Moro and Ike Alvarez, who play for VRL first team, but also play for the B team mainly. So, yeah, sorry, Data gets confused with you know, what's going on there. But regardless, we basically have, right now, we have one starting keeper at champion level that's nailed because Barton, Steele, there's a whole rotational situation there that is obviously not fun. I'm down two Sam Johnstons, and so I'm basically left with Vales. And I do have a bit of a Las Palmas collection. Um, I've got a bit of a defensive stack in Cardona and Mika Marmol. I have bought a few other Las Palmas players as well to go with that stack. We also have the Brighton defensive stack in Dunk and Van Heck. Um, and then we also have you know, Simica. And we have a few decent players. Nico Diallo's just signed for Juventus. Got Nacho in there who's been playing for Real Madrid. But, you know, on the whole, we don't really have too much going on here. And the majority of our defenders are definitely in season. And yeah, the plan was to basically play in season uh, champions at rare level and then in season Premier League. My plans have kind of been halted there because of the Sam Johnson situation. At midfield, we do have a bit of depth, to be fair. Pedri's obviously injured right now, but Zaya Emery, Saboslai that we won recently. We've got Enzo Fernandez. We've got Garcia in there. Harry Wilson, if he plays for Fulham. Modric, we've got two Sarabias. Um, and that's basically it, to be fair. But 
way more depth than we do in defense, I would say, and, and a lot more quality. Um, and yeah, it's one of those situations where I just don't know if I'm going to be able to utilize all these champion players for the remainder of this season unless I make some goalkeeper um, additions, to be honest. At forwards, we've got, of course, the Real Madrid boys who will primarily be used at under 23 level in Vinny and Rodrigo. We won a Mateus Tell yesterday, actually, who's obviously a, you know, a really good youngster and stuff. But I don't know how much utility I'm really going to get out of him this season. We've got Savio in there as well, which is a really nice card. Luis Diaz. We've got Alanga. We've got Giroud, but I think he's moving to LAFC. We've got Brennan Johnson. We've got Juan, who got injured like a week after I won him, which was just great. Welbeck's in there as well to complete the Brighton stack. Porto and a few more Las Palmas players. So, you know, I do have a decent variety of cards here. I'd say I'm pretty strong at forward. Midfield, I'd argue I'm pretty strong as well. Defense gets a little bit dodgy. Las Palmas haven't been good defensively. When I bought them, they were great, and now they're just not, which I'm sure you guys can relate to. And then the Brighton stack, which, of course, is just really annoying to play because you just never know what goalkeeper is going to play. So, so I'm in a situation with Champion Europe where I don't really know what to do, to be honest, going forward. Of course, I'm just going to run the Brighton stack every week, and hopefully I get the goalkeeper right. With the Las Palmas situation... We can, you know, we can still field a decent team. This weekend doesn't look great because they play Barcelona away. So this week's an absolute write-off, I think. But if we were talking in-season champ, we could go for something like this. You know, Garcia in midfield, obviously the Las Palmas defensive stack. And then something like maybe Luis Diaz and Sabosley as a bit of a Liverpool attacking stack. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad team at all. Of course, I've used five in-season cards there. I don't necessarily need to do that. I could just use four, but I don't really think I have an extra player this out of season, that's probably better than Sabosley. Maybe Rodrigo, potentially. You know, Soradata definitely thinks it is a better move. So, you know, I could do something like that for champion season this weekend. And I think you know, it looks relatively fine. It's not insane. If we went over to try and build the in-season Premier League lineup, that would look something like Barting Goal. That's assuming he starts, of course. Again, they're playing Liverpool, so <laughs> they've, they've probably got no chance this, this weekend. But it would basically look something like this. I would need two more in-season cards, so let's just call it... I mean, I don't like having my players play against each other, but it would basically be something like that. Um, again, this weekend's probably a write-off. And, you know, with having no Sam Johnson, it does really limit my options now with having to play the Brighton roulette, which I don't really want to do. And so, you know, at rare level at champ, it's looking kind of bleak for me in a way. Obviously, I have... I do have like one probably good lineup a weekend, but do I have one good lineup in champ and one good lineup in in-season prem or just classic prem? I don't really know. That obviously will depend on fixtures every weekend. But yeah, that Sam Johnstone injury has really killed me. I think having two of them was probably overkill. I know it's easy to say that now, but yeah, it's really stung me that has and it's really halted anything I can really do now in that Premier League comp, you know, outside of guessing the Brighton keeper and so I definitely have to rethink what I'm going to do as far as you know bringing in maybe a bit more depth for the remainder of this Premier League season or maybe just completely write it off and say you know what maybe I need to sell up quite a few of my Premier League cards I'd probably keep you know your Sabo slides because he's under 23 but the majority of the depth maybe the Sarabias etc um Elangas maybe I know he's under 23 but you know what I mean I really evaluate that over these next few weeks um, but this weekend, I'd probably rock something like this. Again, the fixtures aren't kind for the defensive stacks I have. Um, and so, yeah, that'll obviously change week on week as far as fixtures go. But yeah, let me know what you think, lads. Do you think I should just completely write off champions? I'm pretty happy with, you know, the depth I have if everyone's fit. But that's not the case. That's never the case in Sora, unfortunately. You always have injuries and it's just about managing those accordingly and not having two goalkeepers of the same player. You know, that, that obviously has stung me big time. Um, and so I'll definitely have to reevaluate things um, as far as the Premier League comp goes and maybe just play champion for the rest of this season. Let me know what you think I should do in the comment section. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave it a like and I shall see you guys in the next one.